How many of you, your parents are here? Okay, you didn't, you didn't drive yourself this morning? You, your parents brought you? Okay, would you, would you point to your parents for me? Just do me a favor. All right, some of you, it's closer. Some of, okay, you know the person that usually sits up here and talks to you? He's my dad. So, I know you don't know who I am, but you know who he is. So, I want to be able to talk to you just for a couple of minutes this morning about the same thing I'm going to be talking to your parents about. So that when you go home, you can say to them, now, did you really understand? Because here's what it was, okay? So, you guys ready? All right. Uh, how many of you know how we talk to God? How do we talk to God? What's your name? Uh, Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, how do we talk to God? We pray. That's right. We pray. What are some of the kinds of things that we pray about? What do you think? When we pray, what do we pray about? God. We pray about God. Yeah, that's a good thing to pray about. We thank God for who He is. That's good. Do you sometimes pray about things that you'd like to see happen or things that you're worried might happen or that you're worried they might not happen? Like, it hasn't been that long since Christmas. Did you ever find yourself praying, boy, I really hope that this happens for Christmas or that this doesn't happen, right? Sometimes when we pray, we pray about those kinds of things, good things that we want to happen, uh, things that we might be worried might happen that might not be so good. Maybe there are things that are happening at school. Maybe it's it's just things that we're worried about. So I, I want to talk to you this morning. I just want to give you a little picture, okay? Now, I know that your name is not Pyrex, but this was the only clean thing I could find this morning um, because I was in charge of dishes last night. So um, I want you to picture that this is you, okay? I, I know that's kind of strange, but I want you just to picture that for me just for a second. This is you, all right? And sometimes when we're praying, we're praying about things that we're worried about. And I want you just to think of this, okay? I see how it's kind of yellowy. I want you to think of that as worry, okay? So we take our worry and, and those things that we're worried about, and we, those come into our lives, and they're there, and they just, kind of, they just kind of sit there, right? And maybe we pray about them, and maybe it seems like God's not answering or whatever else, and we've prayed and we've asked, or maybe we've prayed and we've asked for something, and, and what we prayed for didn't happen. And so we start to worry, and those things just sort of weigh on top of us. So what do you think we're supposed to do when we pray for things and God doesn't seem to give us the answer that we were hoping for? What do you think we should do? Any ideas? Okay, well, there's a word that we talk about a lot at church, and it's the word faith. Okay? It's the word faith. And I want you just to picture this, this right here. Okay? That, that red liquid, that's faith. In truth, it's just water with food coloring in it. But we're just for the sake of discussion. Let's, let's pretend that's, that's faith. What do you think is going to happen if I pour faith in with my worries? You think so? You think it'll go away? Is that what you think will happen? Anyone have another guess? Yes, sir? What's your name? Cole, what do you think will happen, Cole? It won't go away. It won't go away. Okay, so we have some who say it will go away and some who say it won't. So let's, let's see what happens. Some of your parents are going to... Now, what seems to happen at first, right? It just looks like it all mixes together, doesn't it? It didn't go away. You think maybe it didn't go away? Well, let's wait just a minute, okay? Let's wait just a minute and let's see what happens. Because you're right, at first, sometimes when we're praying, even if we're praying with faith, and, and what's faith while we're waiting to see what happens? Faith is just believing in God, right? It's just believing that what God says about himself is true. And when we mix in that believing about God that we call faith in with our worries, can you kind of see what's happened? What happened to our worries? Well, they didn't exactly go away, but they did what? What's at the bottom? The faith is. Yeah, the faith is at the bottom and the worries just move their way right on up, right? So sometimes we worry. Even sometimes we worry when we have faith. But when we, when we understand that, uh, that with faith we believe that God is who he says he is, it separates us from our worries. They don't exactly go away, but they're different. 
there's something else at the bottom that we can trust in. So even, even when we have those things to worry about, our faith is closer to us, right? Because we believe that God is who He said He is and that He does what He says He'll do, right? Okay, so let me pray with you guys this morning. Thank you so much for coming down front. And, uh, and then, do we dismiss them at this time? Yeah, okay, all right. Heavenly Father, God, thank you this morning for these children. Lord, I pray that um, you would put in all of us a heart of prayer, a heart of trusting in you. And God, my prayer for each one of them as they, as they pray to you and as they express their desires to you, Lord, that, that you would fill them with faith. And God, I know that sometimes uh, the things we pray for will not always seem to come about at the time that we pray for them, Lord, but that you would fill them with a faith of believing that you are who you say you are and you'll do what you'll say you'll do. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.